All right, a popular gift this time of year would be a Christmas ham, right? Depending on what type of ham you receive, you might be tempted to throw away because of the way it looks. But hold on, our Y guy explains why mold is okay on some foods. It's not a good look. No one likes it when their leftovers appear wearing a fuzzy green toupee. There's no better reason to toss old food than when it's covered in mold. But hold on, we need to explain why it's okay to keep some foods despite those ugly green spots. Mama, this ham has mold. It's true, some molds can make you sick, but others are actually beneficial to your food. Let's start with cured ham. That's a completely natural characteristic to a country ham. The U.S. Department of Agriculture tells us the curing and drying process allows harmless mold to appear on the ham's surface. You don't want to leave it there. Wash it off with hot water in a stiff vegetable brush. The same goes for hard salami. Just wash away the mold. Sometimes you'll see small mold spots on firm fruits and vegetables like carrots or bell peppers. It's hard for mold to penetrate the hard surface, so just cut the spots away, moving your knife at least an inch around and below the bad spot. If you see mold on soft fruits and vegetables like peaches or tomatoes, toss them. And then, of course, there's cheese. Some cheese is made with mold, and if it's part of the manufacturing process, you're okay. Mold on the surface of hard cheeses can be cut away. Mold on soft cheese that isn't part of the manufacturing process isn't good. Throw that cheese away. So there are plenty of times when mold means a trip to the trash can, but not always. Mmm. You got all that down? You got it? Well, if you have more questions or you have some thoughts for our Y guy, you can send them over Facebook or Twitter or through email. All those are right there on your screen.